Hey, what's going on? This is Kelby Canick, founder of Making a Magazine, here to introduce all of you guys to the PR engine. Um, now, if you're a member on the site, most likely you join because you've seen some of the great opportunities that we do and a lot of the things that we do for independent producers, artists, DJs, and entrepreneurs in the urban music industry. Um, well, outside of those great benefits, perks, and opportunities for sponsorship, um, the core thing that we do is a service called the PR engine. Our goal wasn't just to give independents the exposure they needed, but the exposure that they deserved. You know, you'll see that we do a lot of sponsorships for things like world star placements. We invest money into artists. We do free listening parties and fly them into Atlanta. Uh, promotional campaigns, participation in events, um, connecting independents with established um, producers and artists uh, for features, um, a lot of media placements and performance opportunities, um, and just all around services to connect them with um, broader audiences and to elevate where they are and their stature and their status when it comes to doing music and working in the entertainment industry now those are the a lot of the opportunities that you submit for and ultimately only a select number of people can be chosen for any particular opportunity but the biggest benefit that every single person who has a membership has is the pr engine the pr engine was created as a way to like I said, help independents manage their own brand and manage their own PR. So essentially, um, when you have a membership every month, you can post uh, one update to the site. Um, these updates are basically like many press releases. You have a short headline that kind of gives a synopsis of what the update is about. You have a graphic and you have a the actual update itself um, a related link for the update and then you select a category that it goes up under and so these updates that you post um, not only do they go on your profiles and create a sort of an EPK but they also go to a feed on the site called the wire uh, which is just an ongoing stream of updates from our members. Now you'll see some are better than others. Some people took a little more time writing out their updates, uh, making sure that they properly crop their image and um, just put their best foot forward and pre presenting it because our website receives traffic from over 20,000 people involved in the urban music industry every month. These are bloggers, DJs, producers, artists, managers, um, promoters, uh, various people who work in the urban music industry in one capacity or another. So when they come here and they're going through these updates, um, your graphic matters, um, your update, the headline matters, all of these little things. And so what I want to do is walk you guys through the process of putting together a quality update that will get people's attention. And um, we're gonna get started by just clicking on the PR engine. Now you'll see I've already have, uh, this is a test account that we use, um, and you'll see that I already have updates that are uh, posted up under my account so if you've already posted updates when you come to the PR engine you'll see a listing of all of your updates that you've already posted along with just some quick share buttons for you to proactively promote your updates um, and you'll see this button which if you can post a new update it'll be just like this um, clickable um, if you are within the 30-day window where you can't post another update you'll see a little message here and this button will be disabled um, I haven't posted an update in a long time on this account this is like I said is really a test account um, so we're gonna just get started by posting an update and I click the button and it takes me to the form to post my update each update is uh, consists of five basic elements you have your headline which is like that short introduction to the update, to what it's about, a quick synopsis, like a one sentence synopsis. Then you have your 
actual update, which is um, a more detailed description of um, what was what's going on or what it is that you're talking about. Um, it is limited to 512 characters, so you're not going to copy and paste the press release in here. Um, it needs to be to the point, not necessarily super short, but you don't want to waste any words. So you want to make sure that you you do a great job of communicating what it is that you want to get a po the point that you want to get across. Um, you also have a related link. Uh, for instance, if you're talking about a um, uh, a new placement that you got for a record, you might link over to the actual song on Spotify. If it's about a, a performance that you had, you may link over to, say, the YouTube video. Whatever it is you want to have, whatever it is that you're talking about in that up, this update, you want to have a related link of something to send people to. Um, then you also have your image. Um, the image is a very, very, very important field. Um, the first thing that people are going to see is your image. Um, and once they see the image, they're going to decide if they're going to read the headline. If the, if you don't do a good job at picking a, a good image, um, like you'll see when we were scrolling through the wire earlier, um, there were some people who didn't crop their photo or something when they uploaded it. So it was just like a black box or something like that. And it didn't look very engaging. It didn't make you uh, want to read the update or check it out, even though that person may have great music. So you want to take your time with putting these up to get updates together because they will be seen by uh, a fair amount of people who uh, may be interested in networking with you, doing some possible media coverage or working with you in some capacity. Um, like I said, these updates are just mini press releases. Uh, the last element that of the update that I talked to you about is the category. Now, the category is just... Um, a list of just various categories from performance to releases and various things and the main thing that that's for is for our tastemakers we have official tastemakers from different uh, media outlets blogs magazines podcasts radio shows that uh, visit the site and go through the updates that are posted by our members to select people for placements for magazine articles for radio interviews for performances and so depending on what it is that they're looking for um, they have the option to filter based on the categories so if you're posting about uh, a new music video that you release um, make sure that you choose the category for music video release don't select performance um, because if someone from like one of the television shows or YouTube channels is looking for music videos to add to their show, you're going to miss out on that opportunity because it's not properly categorized. Now, uh, we're just going to get started on this update. Um, I was booked to uh, speak on a panel at the Music Business Empowerment Conference in September. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to post an update about that. Like What I like to do is I like to start off with the image first. Um, having something to look at uh, helps me with the writing. So I'm going to upload this. And you see that that's just a big blue block <laughs> because it's not cropped yet. So I can just drag this corner on now. And there we go, that's cropped to where it needs to be. Um, let's see how we're going to categorize this. This is, uh, hmm, I, I guess I'll put booking since I was booked to speak on the panel. Uh, so. Now, the key thing when you're writing these updates is always to write everything in third person. When you're writing your headline, I recommend title case. That means up, uh, capitalizing um, pretty much all of your, your, your main words. Um, magazine.
Mm -hmm. Staff is panelist for MBE conference. All right, so uh, that's my headline. Uh, Making a Magazine founder Kelby Cannon gets tapped as panelist for the 2018. Oh, that, that's not my headline. 2018 MBE. Oh, I'm one. I'm, I'm one short. Let's see. Actually, that's wrong. There we go. That's better. So, Megan the Magazine founder Kelby Cannon gets tapped as panelist for the 2018 MBE conference. It's pretty short to the point. Um, lets people know exactly what it's going to be about. Um, I'm going to select the link that I'm going to put in. is going to be a link to the actual um, MBE music conference there we go. and so you'll notice what I like to I personally like to do is just fill out the all the other information uh, like I said the category the image um, the link and the title because those are short um, the thing that tends to take the longest is actually writing the update um, so once again, I'm a I'm a fast forward uh, through some of this. Um, you'll see me doing a lot of messing up and rewriting. <laughs> um, and but this is the way that it should be, like because you have a limited number of characters and you want to try to get as much um, information across when you're writing your update. You should really struggle to fit everything that you want to fit within these 512 characters. If you finish your update in less than five minutes, you probably didn't do a good job on it. It should take you, it should take you around 15 minutes to do. You should really want to think about what it is that you're saying and the way that you're presenting yourself because like I said, um, these updates get seen by a lot of tastemakers and people in the industry. Um, a lot of people who may be interested in not just um, featuring you on platforms but also other members who may be interested in networking which you're doing some work with you as far as features or production or different things so always uh, put your best foot forward Okay, there you have it. Um, we finished uh, writing the update. Um, as you see, like it, it was a lot of reworking it, uh, trying to keep the the character count down, um, but getting all the information in there that uh, wanted to get. Um, read over it. Uh, fourth annual Music Business Empowerment Conference returns to Atlanta, September seventh, bringing out a who's who of industry tastemakers and executives. Making a magazine founder Kelby Canick has been tapped to speak on the management and digital strategies panel alongside Rico Brooks, manager to Metro Boomin, Sunny Digital, and Brooklyn Johnny, manager to Cardi B. Each year, MBE conference panels present a lively discussion with genuine industry insight to attendees visit link below for full details all right so um, that that's good everything else is good now we can save it all right all right so here's an important thing uh, once I save the update um, you'll notice uh, this message up here 
Um, it says that the update has been created, but it also says it, the update is currently saved as a draft and only visible to you. So I'm the only one who can see this update. Um, please review it carefully for errors before publishing to the wire. If you need help with the wording, get one of our publicists to revise it for you. And that's a link if you say wanted. Um, you had a hard time coming up with the wording and you weren't confident in it. You you wanted to have uh, one of our publicists, a PR assistants, um, revise it for you to, to improve the wording. Um, that's something that um, is available to you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'll go open it incognito. So you can see that if you share the link to your update, if you start sharing and posting it, this is what people will get. Um, you're the only one who has access to it because you're logged in and this is your update. Um, it won't be accessible to people until you actually publish it. So if you come down here and you start sharing and tweeting and posting it everywhere, um, what you're going to do is you're going to post a link that no one will be able to click on. Um, Twitter and Facebook won't be able to pull the image or your title or any of that information because um, it's still saved as a draft. Uh, but everything looks good. Uh, Making a Magazine founder, Kelvin County gets tapped as a panelist for 2008 MBE, 2018 MBE conference. Um, image looks good. The actual body of the update looks good. Um, let's see. The link works. Everything looks good to go. So now I can just click publish now. And now the update is published. You'll notice the message is no longer up there. And we'll go open it in the incognito window. And you'll see that now it is accessible to other people. And anyone who's coming to the site, even just to look through the site, You'll see now the update appears in the wire. So when people are coming to the site and they're looking to see who has what going on, they can see your update when you posted it. Um, if they're interested in your update, then they can click on your name and it'll take them to your profile. And here's my profile for this test account. And you'll see the updates are in kind of like... Um, and a reverse chronological order so this is the most recent update and then if you're looking through it you'll see that the updates kind of um, help form an EPK and this is the reason why the updates are for once a year I mean not once a year <laughs> why the updates are for once a month so that you have um, things that you want to speak on or talk about each month accomplishments and these things string together uh, to present uh, a more professional look at what you have going on as far as your business awards that you've won um, singles that you release uh, people that you've uh, networked and connected with the important things and so um, this is the purpose of posting your updates